Hi guys, today we're going to build a JavaFX application on Android as promised and um, we'll need quite a lot of stuff for that. So first of all we'll need to make sure that you have um, JDK 8 and Eclipse 4.5. Now, um, so these are the basic prerequisites and the rest of the stuff we're going to download um, and install. So uh, all of these links will be in the video description and you'll need to follow them pretty much precisely because there's quite a lot of things that need to be installed in, properly, uh, in proper order. Okay, so the first link will be um, the new Gluon um, plugin for Eclipse, which I've posted about. Um, and the very first thing you need to do is to go down here to the update site, um, copy link location of that um, URL, go back to Eclipse, and click help and install new software. Copy and paste that um, into the um, text field and you'll be prompted with two <coughs> plugins. You um, so the FX Eclipse plugin is a very useful plugin, but it is optional, so you don't have to install it if you don't want to. Um, and this is the thing that we um, need to install in order to be able to compile to Android um, fairly easily. So this is the Gluon plugin, um, Eclipse plugin. Once you've installed it, you'll need to um, allow it to you it's basically Eclipse will ask you a few questions saying do you trust certificates and stuff just click yes and um, you'll probably need to reboot Eclipse afterwards alright so once you've got that um, we will need to download prerequisites for Android and these can be found um, here so this is the next thing you'll need to download um, if you're using Windows, then the Windows installer, and basically depending on what operating system you're using. Once you download, um, once you download that and install it, you will have something like this: um, Android SDK. This is the Android SDK folder where you install the uh, program. So. You will need to launch SDK Manager, which is that. And you will need to install um, SDK Build Tools 21.1.2, then SDK Platform uh, for API 21, and ARM System Image. This is only needed to um, run uh, Android virtual device if you don't have an actual device. We will also need Android support library, which is um, that one. So basically, um, all of the things listed, um, you may have to download Android SDK tools as well. So basically, all of these things are listed in here and um, that link will also be up in the video description. I'm just um, following the tutorial, um, more or less. So once you download all of this um, using Android SDK Manager, you will need... Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. We can now um, start writing some code, or rather um, make the plugin and do most of the stuff. So click File New. So we're back to Eclipse now. File New Other. If you've installed everything correctly, then there will be um, a JavaFX um, folder, and you'll need to click on Basic Gluon Application. Click Next. The project name is basically the the same as the Eclipse project name, so just call it uh, FX application. 
Um, you can use default location, which is going to be the workspace of Eclipse. Next, package name is your typical package name. So let's let's be and um, fx. Main class name is going to be fx application. Um, I'm using Windows, so I cannot really build for iOS. Um, if you're on a Mac, then um, there are a few steps you'll need to take in order to be able to build on iOS. Um, and all these steps are listed here. So um, yeah, you won't need to change a lot of code. Um, Android and desktop should be on, so click finish. It will take some time to build the project and at this point I think I will download a few things if you're running this for the first time. Now, as you can see there are um, several source folders. So the main is uh, main Java and main resources are the directories for common code, common resources. Desktop is desktop specific and Android is Android specific. Now that we have um, these things, you can open build.gradle and here in the JFX mobile plugin we will need to type Android SDK and you will need to point to the location of your SDK. Um, if you don't know where it is, then Android SDK Manager should be able to tell you um, by SDK path. See users. Yep, that should do it. Um, make sure you spell everything correctly, because otherwise you only get a lot of errors when building for Android. Okay, that should do it. Now we'll need to save that. Um, next thing is to show Gradle, Gradle tasks. So you go to Window, Preferences, and there should be Ah, no, wait, sorry. No, window, um, show view, other, Gradle um, folder, and select Gradle tasks, and click OK. And then you'll be able to see all these um, tasks that you can perform on your uh, project. You'll need to select uh, the correct project when you you so first of all um, right click on FX application then run as and select real build this will select um, your project as a Grail project and you can type run it will basically show you what you can type really if you um, use control plus space then apply and you can run the application that should compile and run the program on your desktop and it will say this hello JavaFX world because it already built a basic code for us which is just that as you can see there is no main um, entry point it is automatically generated by the um, plugin and you can change um, the label to say something else for example if you want to just check and play around with it or you can um, just copy and paste one of the JavaFX programs but um, for this tutorial just use uh, this program to make sure it runs and then you're able to modify it um, later okay so now we should be able to select um, in Grail tasks FX application because we've selected it as a Grail ta um, as a Grail project. If you remember, with the right click and the um, run as, this will show you the tasks that you can perform on your um, Grail project. 
and the one that we need now is um, Android yeah there we go so Android just double click on Android and this will start um, compiling everything and generating um, an APK basically and if something is wrong there is an exception um, that means that you've missed a step or you haven't properly specified where your SDK is Once it, uh, once it has built successful, that means it has completed um, all the stuff it needed to do. And you can now find your APK in um, your Eclipse workspace. And just go to your um, FX application or whatever you called the project. Go to build, Java FX ports, Android, and here's the um, APK which you can um, audio run on your device if you have one. Um, if you don't have an actual device, you can run it on a virtual um, device, which can be run from the ABD, which is located again in your Android SDK folder. So just click ABD Manager, which will show um, this window, on which you can create um, a new device. Um, by specifying its name, device type, um, and the image that we downloaded, the um, ARM system image. And then you can click start. It will take a while to start um, this um, Android virtual device. And um, you'll then need to take that APK, copy it to platform tools and you can then run from the command line adb install and the name of your apk that will also take a while to install and then unpackage everything but once um, it's done its job you can then go to um, programs and run in this case it's called test application it's pretty much the same application i didn't change it much code And this will run um, that program, which is um, it's basically the same program, I just changed the label. Um, and Android. And this will also run on your um, actual Android device. And once you've done all of those steps, um, Next time it will be much easier because you only need to um, create new glue on application and just start working and the most of the things will already be there um, for you. And yeah, so basically you're able to build um, your FX um, JawFX program on Android and with a little bit of um, more setting up and if you have a Mac then you can also build for iOS so there you go JavaFX application and Android thanks for staying with me for this tutorial and thanks for watching